Hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'd like to share with you how I made these rather cute little dogs out of wool. So with your fingers spread quite far apart, wind the wool around your fingers 20 times. And then put your finger in between the top part and tie that portion off. And then we're going to put that piece aside for the time being. With your fingers slightly apart, which is about maybe 8 centimetres, go around 15 times. And then attach it at the top. And the same on the other side. Try and keep these little pieces of wool a little bit long so that you can actually attach them on the inside. So now what we're going to do is squash it down quite flat and we're going to tie that off here. These ones are particularly important to keep them a little bit longer so that we can tie them in. Otherwise, if you cut them too short, they just tend to come undone all the time. Now that we've got them all tied off, keep these ones long and then you can trim any of the short ones that are dangling off. So now taking these long ones and putting them into the middle and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a thread or a piece of twine or a yarn through the centre and tie that down. And now you can trim these ones off. Make sure you don't trim the one holding the centerpiece together. And now you need to make two like that. So now that you've made your two pieces, the first piece that we made, what you're going to do is separate it and put one piece through there and then tie that piece in like that. Same with the other piece. This time with this particular piece, what you want to do is you want to push it up and then attach it in that position like that so 
so that's what you've got at the moment. Now we're going to work on the head. When it comes to the head, what you want to try and do, I've got this tiny little minute crochet hook and what you want to try and do is go to the inside of the wool and pull out a piece from the inside of it so it's sticking out like that then take some of your hot glue be careful when you're working with the hot glue put a wee bit of glue on the inside of the ear and then I just lick my fingers so that I don't burn them to just shape the ear slightly like that and then do the same on the other side so once again put the crochet hook in and get one of the inside pieces like that pull it out a wee bit and then put the glue on the inside of the circle lick your fingers so you don't get burnt and then squash it together so you've got your little ear next thing take the crochet hook and gather all the pieces together and then pull a piece of thread through there and then tighten that So now what you want to do is, if you've tied it in the middle, you want to bring it down just a wee bit down to the bottom so that you've got more at the top and less at the bottom. So just pulling it down like that and then take another piece of thread and tie it around the tip to create the nose. Now you don't want to have such a big one so shift it all the way down to the bottom as far as you can go without it falling off and then trim trim the thread off so then you've got something that looks like that now it's going to take a little bit of pushing and prodding and that to get the right shape face that you want. So if you are happy with that shape, now we're just going to put the little eyes and nose on. I'm just using these really small little black beads. So when you attach them, as you can see, it's got a, a center piece which I've stuck the tweezers through it. You want to make sure that the little holes are on the sides, otherwise they look a bit funny. And with some hot glue, glue the nose in place. As you can see with the shape of the face, you just have to play with it a little bit to get it how you want. So you can change it by just maybe shifting the ears out and then you get a slightly different look so all depending on what you're looking for to just change the shape accordingly when it comes to the tail make sure that you've got a double thread around here because once we cut this sometimes if these ones are cut a wee bit short they do tend to fall out so now what we're going to do is we're just going to cut through all the loops and then fan it out a wee bit like that and then trim it down because you really don't want to have it that long so just going
if you want it to be long at the back here leave those ones for myself personally I like to trim it just a wee bit shorter at the back now take a fine tooth comb hold it very very firmly over here and then just tease out all the yarn once you've teased it all out then just trim it all and then you can shape the tail how you want Now when it comes time to gluing, uh, may I suggest if you're going to be making one of the dark ones, you probably can't see this very well, but if you have a look, the white glue or the transparent glue makes rather an ugly looking residue behind it. So if you're going to be using, making a dark one, I'd suggest you use the black glue. It's the same as with the brown one. You can see all the glue from gluing on the eyes and then between the legs. So if you're going to be doing the darker ones, I suggest using the colour closer to the colour that you're going to be using. For the little white ones, it doesn't really matter because you can't really see it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to glue the legs together just a little bit at the bottom. And the back legs as well. So to finish the little dog off, I've got a little strip of diamantes, which I'm going to just be gluing around its neck. You can put whatever you want on it. Some of them I've got pearls on, some of them I've got diamantes, and the little brown one has got a little ribbon on it. So you can put whatever you want on it. And there's our little dog completed. As I said, this one's got the diamantes on it, the little black one's got some pearls on it and the brown one's got the red ribbon on. So whatever you choose would be beautiful. If you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate it if you would subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.